In this video, we'll be discussing the Variable Module Management System, abbreviated VMMS, that is implemented in the Eaton's 9395 UPS system. So the first step in demonstrating VMMS is to start the UPS normally with both UPM modules online. Next, we enable Variable Module Management System by controlling the UPS and selecting Enable Variable Module Management System. At this point, the UPS will only have the number of UPMs online that are necessary to support the load. Now, the user may make adjustments to Variable Module Management System from the front panel. The first adjustment is to set the load limit. If I have one UPM module online, we're setting the point at which additional UPMs will be added. In this case, 90%. The next setting allows us to add redundant UPMs when in VMMS mode. In other words, if I have one UPM online and want to have always an additional one UPM just for redundancy, I can select the number of additional UPMs from there. Lastly, I set the high alert timer. The high alert timer determines how long we stay in conventional mode after we exit VMMS mode during a power disturbance or an additional load added. Now we look at the output of the UPS with essentially no load. UPM has nearly zero KW. UPM2 also nearly zero. So we have no load on the entire UPS at this point. At this point, we'll add 100 kilowatts load to the UPS system. Now if we look at the meters, we can see the UPS system as a whole is carrying 100 kilowatts load. UPM number one is loaded to 100 kilowatts. UPM two is in ready state and is carrying no load at this time. Now let's quantify the efficiency benefit of using VMMS mode. With our precision meters here, we see on the input on the left the UPS is drawing 111 kilowatts from the utility with both UPMs online. The output of the UPS is 100.7 kW. This calculates to a system efficiency of 91% at 100 kilowatts load, about 50% load for this UPS. Now we enable VMMS and you'll see the input kilowatt drop. So one UPM has entered ready state. And the total input is dropped to 107 kW. The output remains at 100 kilowatts. And this gives us a 2.5% improvement in efficiency by utilizing VMMS mode. Here we've removed the front covers and input air filters from UPM1 and UPM2. You can see if you look at the LEDs in UPM1 that UPM1 is operating with all green status. UPM2 is in ready state without the green LEDs that are visible through the grill on the front. So the UPS system as a whole is operating in VMMS mode. Next we will add an additional 100 kilowatts of load and this will allow UPM2 to come online instantaneously and you'll see the lights turn green behind the grill now both modules are sharing the load. You hear the fan spin up, and both UPMs are now operating. Next, we will reduce the load back to 100 kilowatts, and after a few seconds, UPM2 returns to ready state. All of this is completely automatic and requires no input from the user. Here we see an actual oscilloscope waveform showing the addition of the second UPM module when the load increases and the resulting critical load output of the UPS. For more information on Eaton's 9395 and Variable Module Management System, visit our website at www.eaton.com EAA. There you will find additional information and white papers on the operation of this specialized mode.